like, how did you start to go from just going to conventions to, like, working in comics? Good question. Um, I was introduced to this guy named Eric Schock, who was running his own comic book publishing company. He was a Joe Kubert alum. Okay. And he taught me how to letter, and um, I started to letter and, and help create comics with him, and... What was the name of the publishing company? It was called uh, Evil Robo Productions. Okay. And I decided to write, to want to write my own stuff, and I wrote a comic called El Loco. It was in response to the SB 1070 law that um, Jan Brewer uh, implemented to allow local law enforcement to question and, uh, people they thought were Mexican migrants yep. to question their yeah, I citizenship. Remember this. Yeah. yeah. So me and my really good friend, Arnie Bermudez, created a, a character named El Loco. He was a Mexican-American superhero that, fight, that fought uh, the Chupacabla and racial profiling. So, <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, that was my first comic. And we ended up on like, local and state news, and it was just like this very you know, fun experience for me. And then I ended up becoming really good friends with my who is still my best friend, Christian Valer, and his, and and Rihanna Valer, we would make comics together, and we ended up making a comic called Captain Unicorn. It was about a... It's like, what if Anderson Cooper and Freddie... Um, what's it? Freddie uh, Queen... Mm-hmm. Uh, why, am I, why am I spacing on his name? Freddie if, Mercury? Freddie Mercury. If they got together and had a big gay superhero baby (laughs) all right this big man horse man that would kill bigots (laughs) and then i became a journalist and that kind of took a back seat and i was still dying to make comics i was still writing about comics but just recently within the last two years i've been back to writing stuff you did a story in the uh where we live anthology i did yeah no i was really fortunate i'm very honored to have been a part a part of that the where we live anthology was uh, headed by uh, J.H. Williams III and Wendy Wright Williams, they got together um, after the uh, Route 91 country show massacre and they started reaching out to really good friends of theirs to contribute something to make an anthology uh, you know, that basically was centered around the what had happened. And I was fortunate enough to have been in contact with Will Dennis, the editor, and he um, set me, him and the team set me up with... Um, this woman named Stephanie, who I interviewed, and um, did a seven-page comic book story about what she experienced and how she uh, nearly, you know, she escaped death. And uh, it was a real touching story, and I got Isaac Goodhart to draw a story for it, and I also had uh, Kelly Fitzpatrick to color it, and I did the writing and lettering. And it was a part of that very big 300-plus page graphic novel and all the proceeds went to the route 91 charity so that's awesome movie yeah no i'm really honored to have been a part of it because i wanted to you know write something especially since in tucson arizona we uh, myself and my community was affected when congresswoman gabrielle giffords was shot in the head you know so we i think we're all all of us at some point will have dealt with or are dealing with gun violence gun violence and i'm a You know, I'm a bleeding heart liberal, and I believe in in gun control or sensible gun control. And it was my opportunity to use my journalism background and my love for telling stories using pictures and words to do this, like, very apolitical story about someone who had just escaped death and is still able to go home and be with her husband and two sons. And a lot of people at that show... Weren't so lucky and didn't have that opportunity. So it was was a really humbling and uh, extraordinary experience I'll never forget. That's beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I read your story. Oh, thanks, dude. It really touched me, too. It was... was it was uh, it was nerve wracking because, you know, you a lot of my favorite comic book artists and writers are in it. And I didn't want to not... I wanted to... To do serve her experience, but also be able to put, like write and tell a story that was worth being in a collection of stories that were by like Neil Gaiman and Kelly Sue DeConnick and yeah. and my boss Matt Hawkins. So 
it was uh, it was really important on so many different for so many different reasons to do something that I could be comfortable with sharing. And you did a great job, I think. Thanks. The Thank work you. speaks for itself. You know, it <laughs> really you. does. It's it's something that was like so touching and and heartfelt. And you, it it felt like everything else in that book. You know, everything else in that book was just like so heartfelt and and they hit the nail on the head with a lot of stuff you they know? did yeah it's a very um beautiful book i mean keep a box of tissues with you